is a part of my interview with best-selling author Sheila Lipsy and Daphne Robinson. Hello, I'm Cyrus Webb, and welcome to the Peg Network. Today, we have two very special guests that are visiting Mississippi for the very first time to talk about their two best-selling novels. We have with us Sheila Lipsy, who wrote the book Into Each Life, and also Daphne Robinson, who wrote the book Brotherly Love and Betrayal. So, welcome you all to Mississippi and to the Peg Network. Thank you, Cyrus. Thank right. you. We're so glad to have the two of you. We want to briefly talk about, we know you have a very busy schedule um, during your visit with us. We want you all to talk very briefly about your books and what you're doing in, today in Mississippi. Sheila, why don't we start with you? Tell us a little bit about yourself and Into Each Life. Well, uh, of course, I'm Sheila Lipsy, and I'm the author of two books. This one uh, that I'm promoting this weekend is entitled Into Each Life. And it's a Christian fiction novel, and that's basically the genre that I write in. And I'm hoping that this weekend will be productive and that people will be able to purchase it and realize that from reading it that there is a story to be told that can help other people. Okay. Daphne, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and also Brotherly Love and Betrayal? Uh, I'm Daphne Robinson. From, I currently live in Statesville, North Carolina, originally from Spartanburg, South Carolina. And this is my second trip to Mississippi. Thank you mm -hmm. for having me here. Uh, Brotherly Love and Betrayal is my first novel. I have a, also have a nonfiction book called Mommisms. Mama never told me there'd be days like this. And it is a, a book of uh, real life stories about me and my children. It's a humorous book. But I'm here promoting Brotherly Love and Betrayal. It's a story about infidelity and forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And it is uh, inspirational fiction as well. I'd like to ask the, the two of you this, starting with Sheila. What is it about the, the Christian fiction genre that, that attracted you to it? Is it something that you were, something that attracted you before because of books that you'd read? Or what was it that told you that you were going to be a, not just a fiction author, but a Christian fiction author? Well, I believe it's a little both from the books that I've read in the past and from my ministry. I believe this is my gift and my calling to write Christian fiction and to reach um, just another level of reading and readers. So Into Each Life has a different story but it twists um, with the Christian family and it shows their imperfections because sometimes we can get sidetracked as Christians and believing that it's all perfect in our world and it's definitely not. So I was pulled to write Christian fiction. Okay. Daphne, what about you? Uh, same thing. I always wanted to write. Uh, I thought that maybe I would be a romance writer or something like that, but as the characters started to develop and as I uh, became an older adult and I'd gone through some things in life I attributed, you know, some of the things that I'd gone through to God and it's got me this far and as I tr started trying to write the story I had no other choice but to incorporate that into my writing and into the characters. Now, one of the things I think is so interesting is that there's so many authors that are out there right now, especially African American authors. Do you find it hard, starting with you, Sheila, to <coughs> have to separate yourselves from the, the growing masses of authors that are out there? Or what makes your book something that's set apart from the others? Well, of course, we know that it's, I mean, fierce competition out there today versus many years ago. But I believe that the type of book that, uh, books that I write are set, somewhat set apart. And it may be because of the Christian theme, the Christian message, and also because I believe it's almost like history repeated in itself. That it's time now, and it's coming full circle that, that uh, readers are looking for something more in depth, something that leaves a message, mm -hmm. and something that uh, has more of a moral to it. So I believe that my books, the type of books that I write, can stand alone, and they're a competition all by themselves. Okay, Daphne? I just try to be true to myself, and you know, being a Christian and a Christian writer, I know that you know, God's got my back, so I'm not worried about whoever else is in the genre or whatever everyone else is writing. I've got to do what I feel I'm called to do and leave it up to you know, my higher power to set me apart. 
Okay. Again, my name is Cyrus Webb. We've been joined by two best-selling Christian fiction authors, Sheila Lipsy and also Daphne Robinson. Hey folks, and welcome into another edition of Marketing Tips You Can Use Right Now. Last week, we talked about how to get ranked number one in Google and how Studio 3 Productions can help you do that to drive more traffic to your website. What we're going to talk about on today is once you get that traffic that's coming to your website, how do you capture them? How do you increase the chances of you making that sale? Well, you want to use a formula that we use here at Studio 3 Productions called Interrupt, Engage, Educate, and Offer. The best way for me to show you how this is all set up is by visiting the website at www.studio3productions.com because this is how we set up all of our websites and how we encourage our clients to set theirs up as well to maximize the sales of their products or services. Well, the first part of the equation is the interrupt. And what does that come in? That's your headline, which should be a question that your ideal client would be asking you that they need an answer to right now. That's how you interrupt someone. When they see that question there, they say, hey, you know what? That's kind of something I need to know. I need to pursue this a little bit further. Then you hit them with the engage. The engage of this equation is your sub headline, showing people that the answer to their question is right here. You've got it and you're willing to give it to them. The next part of the equation is the educate. How do you educate people? You do that with your video. Creating a compelling video is going to drive tons of sales for your website. It's going to get you where you really want to be from converting those prospects into clients and of course driving those sales. If you produce an awesome video like we do at Studio 3 Productions, it's going to keep your clients right there on your website. They're not going to want to go anywhere because they want to see what you've had what you have to say. You've already interrupted them with your headline. You've engaged them with your subheadline. Now you're educating them. Then comes your offer. The offer is you give them something free in exchange for their email address. Don't ask for anything other than their email address. We've done tests, we've seen different websites that asks for names and also email addresses and other information. They don't have a very good conversion. You get way more conversions if the only thing you ask for is the email address. When they put that email address in, you send them something free. Something that's going to entice them more to show them that you have the answer to their question. If you check out the website www.studio3productions.com, you're going to see exactly how we wind drive tons of traffic and also have great success with converting those prospects into customers and clients. I'm sure this has been helpful for you. Make sure to check us out online and we're going to be back here next week with some more great information from Studio 3 Productions on and with marketing tips you can use right now. You have a great week.